This is All India Radio. In the program Spotlight, we now bring you virtual celebration of 14th Statistics Day. We have a message from our Honorable Minister of State for Statistics and Program Implementation Independent Charge, Sri Rao Indrajit Singh, on the occasion of the 14th Statistics Day. My greetings to all on the occasion of the 14th Statistics Day today. The role of statistics in development of the nation is crucial. Underlining the importance of statistics in development of the nation, government has been celebrating the Statistics Day since 2007 to popularize the use of statistics in everyday life and to sensitize the public. The Statistics Day is celebrated on 29th of June to commemorate the birth anniversary of India's legendary statistician and policy planner, Professor P.C. Mahala Nobis. In recognition of his invaluable contributions in establishing the national statistical system, Professor Mahana Lobis, who brought the concept of planned governance to India, is fondly remembered as the father of the statistical system in the country. A pioneer in statistical thinking, research and governance, his contributions were immense towards the setting of the Indian Statistical Institute in Calcutta in 1931 as a dedicated institute for research and training in statistics. It was his vision that led to formulation of two pillar official statistical institutions in the country, that is, the erstwhile Central Statistical Organization and the National Sample Survey Organization, which are the forerunners to the present-day National Statistical Office. Friends, the developments in theory and practice of statistical procedures have resulted in an efficient decision-making process globally. The National Statistical Office, the custodian of the official statistics and mentor of the statistical system of the country, have evolved to become an important national institution and has been recognized globally for its relevance and contributions. As you are all aware, the high-quality statistical data gathered processed and released through the national statistical system is in great demand by national and international agencies. India, with its strong economic fundamentals, is fast developing and is now renowned amongst front-runner countries of scientific research and emerging disciplines of data sciences under the able leadership of our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Narendra Modi. India is sharing its resources and expertise in the field of statistics with the international community of league organizations for mutual development. Being a responsible member country of the United Nations, India is also dedicated towards its global commitments. India is also part of the United Nations efforts to end hunger and achieving a better and more sustainable future for all. The Sustainable Development Goals, SDGs, set in 2015 by the United Nations General Assembly stands for concrete action plan to end poverty, protect the planet and ensure that all people enjoy peace and prosperity by 2030 and no one should be left behind. Last year, on Statistics Day 2019, the Ministry released Sustainable Development Goals National Indicator Framework Baseline Report 2015-16. A progress report on SDG National Indicator Framework 2020 version 20 was subsequently released in March 2020. SDG dashboard was also unveiled which provides access to government and non-government stakeholders including public at large on the progress of India towards attaining of various SDG goals and targets. In order to further strengthening and monitoring process, guidelines have also been issued on development of state indicator framework. These developments reinforce India's commitment in achieving the sustainable development goals. I am happy to note that every year a theme of current national importance is selected for Statistics Day celebrations. The theme for 2019 was Sustainable Development Goals and taking this forward, the theme for Statistics Day 2020 covers SDG 3, which is Ensure Healthy Lives and Promote Well-Being for All at All Ages, and SDG 5, which is Achieve Gender Equality and Empower All Women and Girls. The highest 
attainable standard of health is a fundamental right of every person. SDG 3 aims to ensure that everyone has access to the highest standards of health and health care. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown that in spite of the significant strides made so far, more efforts are needed to fully eradicate a wide range of diseases and address many different persistent and emerging health issues. Goal 5 aims at achieving gender equality and empowering women. Gender equality is a necessary foundation for a peaceful, prosperous and sustainable world. India's commitment to gender equality and the targets of Goal 5 is very much evident from the Prime Minister's Beti Bachao, Beti Padhao initiative, which aims to equal opportunity and education for girls in India and other specific interventions, public programs of Government of India for women empowerment. We firmly believe and I am confident that when government policies at all levels align their work for the betterment of the society, sustainable development is fully realizable by India. Yes, there are challenges. The present global scenario of COVID-19 pandemic poses challenges towards the progress of global economy. At the same time, it provides for opportunities to have more data-driven policies, to establish more accurate early warning and prediction systems to benefit the global community. Due to lockdowns and maintenance of social distancing norms to contain the pandemic, my ministry have begun to actively explore alternative and efficient options for data collection, adhering to international standards by leveraging technology to bring out timely and quality statistics for policy interventions. Creation of a robust database for monitoring the progress of SDGs once again underlines the importance and need for holistic data for informed policy discourse and decisions. Our ministry in its endeavor to have an efficient and responsive statistical system for its integrated development has made many significant achievements during the last one year and has announced its vision 2024 for real-time monitoring of the economy. In this direction, reforms in statistical processes and products are underway that will facilitate realizing this vision. I take this opportunity to convey that in order to revamp and strengthen the existing statistical system, this ministry has come up with a project called National Integrated Information Portal, which would imbibe a new information technology solutions in the field of data acquisition, processing and dissemination. This portal will be a one-stop platform for all official statistics using advanced technology to integrate existing and future databases of administrative statistics and trade data across government offices, sectors, geographies and time. We are also working towards the development of computer application for general survey instrument which may be interpreted as a framing a general set solution for conducting all surveys under NSO and their processing. The ultimate goal of this project is to become a one-stop platform for all surveys embedded with real-time validation system and self-assistance oblique learning video modules. On my own behalf and on behalf of the ministry, I convey a sincere gratitude and appreciation to all individuals and organizations who have partnered with the ministry over the years. We intend to deepen and strengthen this association in the next few years so that society can gain from their technological expertise and India continues to shine globally. On Statistics Day, the Ministry also recognizes the outstanding contribution for high quality research work in the field of applied and theoretical statistics, benefiting the official statistical system through the C.R. Rao and P.V. Sukhamate awards awarded in alternate years for 2020 i have the pleasure of congratulating dr arvind pandey and dr ac kulshestra on receiving the pv sukhatme award for the outstanding and meritorious research in theoretical and applied statistics as well as contribution to the official statistical system we wish them the very best for all their future endeavors while looking forward 
to their future association with the national statistical system. The dedicated and sincere officers are the base of the national statistical system. Their efforts and intellectual inputs in bringing out official statistics for use in government and the society at large also needs to be acknowledged. My ministry has instituted a new award, PC Maharanobis National Award in Official Statistics for recognizing outstanding achievement of official statisticians in central government, state government and institutions. I'm happy to announce Professor PC Mahala Nobis Award goes to Dr. C. Rangarajan for his path-breaking recommendation for holistic statistical reforms that paved the way for the present-day national statistical system. I wish him the very best for his future. I also applaud all my young friends, the participants as well as the winners of the on-the-spot essay writing competition 2020. These students are the future of SDGs. I wish them a very bright future and look forward to their active association with MOSPI in the days and years to come. In conclusion, I am proud to state that my ministry is embracing technology and contemporary techniques, both extensively and intensively, so that statistics continues to be of a very high order, reliable, credible, and trustworthy. I extend my good wishes, health, and safety to one and all on this Statistics Day. Jai Hind. Mr. Praveen Srivastava, the Chief Statistician of India and Secretary of the Ministry of Statistics and Program Implementation. Today is a proud moment because no wall is too high and we have accepted this as a challenge by hosting and organizing this event on a virtual platform. On the occasion of the 14th Statistics Day, it is the birth anniversary of Professor P.C. Malanobis, the doyen of statistics and the father of the national statistical system in the country. We may commemorate this event because we not only honor his contribution, but we also rededicate ourselves, recommit ourselves to improving the statistical system so that it remains to be relevant and pertinent to the decision-making process. So as we move forward, we will realize that the new normal will talk about new ways of doing business, new ways of acting, new ways of collecting data, and all of this is very relevant, and it's not India alone, but all the countries globally are facing this challenge of how do you collect data in a way in a global pandemic where without data, action cannot be evidence-based and it cannot be targeted. So this is an opportune time for us to rededicate our lives to the importance of data and statistics and how it helps in decision-making. The role of the Ministry of Statistics, as you all know, is not only on reporting for the Sustainable Development Goals, but we also evolve indicators which are relevant to the goals and adapted to the requirements of the national socioeconomic scenario. It is an evolutionary process and we continuously define, refine and update the indicators based on the data sourced from various ministries, state governments and other agencies. On the basis of the trajectories that we have been able to see, we need to accelerate our actions if we have to achieve the SDGs by 2030, it's a journey begun and all of us are committed and dedicated to achieving the goals. We have revamped and revised our data collection processes. We are educating our enumerators on how to maintain social distance and still be able to collect data. At the same time, we are also developing a generalized survey solution. It's going to be branded by the name of eSigma and this will pave the way for more intelligent, more easy data to be captured using mobile devices and PDAs. We have also taken advantage of the expertise available with the World Bank. We are negotiating a World Bank loan and it's been approved by the World Bank. We are marching ahead in that. Aimed at improving data quality in the entire statistical system at the national, state and other levels. So, as I said, we are marching ahead. It's a journey well begun and we will reach our destination. And I hope that in the next few months or next one year, you will see significant changes in the way data gets collected and processed and disseminated in the shortest time possible. Thank you so much. You were listening to a virtual celebration of 14th Statistics Day. This program was produced and presented by the News Services Division of All India Radio. You can listen to it on our mobile app, News on AIR. This program is also available on our website, newsonair.com. You may email your opinion about this program at airnsdtalks at gmail.com.